Hey guys, it's Jake and I would like to welcome you to my first Unity 3D tutorial on environment creation and design. Now if you're not familiar with Unity 3D, it is a three-dimensional game engine that is available for free at unity3d.com and if you're inter interested in getting into the game development industry, it's a great way to start because it's free and it's pretty easy to learn. So once you're at the main website, you're going to want to go to the download tab and just download Unity 4.2. It'll give you an installation process and you can pick a file where you want to save that application. And so for Unity environment creation, I have a certain plugins that I like to use and assets that I'm going to show you where they are. So for that, we're going to want to go to 6 nothing.com And what they have is cool little plugins for Unity. We're going to want to go to the Terrain Toolkit, click that, Download Now, and we're going to want to go to the Downloads tab, and click that, and then click this and it will download. Now I already have it downloaded for this tutorial, so I'm not necessarily going to do that. I'm just going to close this down and check out my Downloads tab, and it's right here as you can see. And now we're going to go to My Applications folder and we're going to open up Unity and let's get started now when you first open up unity it's gonna ask you to create a uh, new project and to do that you're just gonna name your project send it to a certain location and it will just start up but you're gonna want to import all the packages except the mobile packages for iOS and Android so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go to window and asset store and I'm gonna show you the other assets that you're gonna need and they have other ones on here that are better than the ones I have. I have some of them, but we're, for this one, we're just going to go to 3D Models, uh, Vegetation, sort it by price, and check out the Terrain Assets by Unity Technologies. Now, this is actually made by Unity to help get you started in terrain design. It's just a really nice package. It comes with models and textures, and it's just really great. You're going to want to click Import and it will pop up a window and you're gonna say import all the assets here I might as well just show you guys that right now and it's decompressing the package and now it's gonna pull up this and it will say do you want to import all of these items you're gonna click import but I already have it so I'm just gonna click cancel and now we're gonna import the terrain toolkit package and so we're gonna to want to go to assets import package and custom package and we're going to want to go to our downloads tab where we sent the terrain toolkit. I'm going to click this and then click the terrain toolkit package. And I also already have this, but you're just going to click import. And they're going to create two folders, those two assets. And so we're going to want to go, the first one's going to be the terrain toolkit and the terrain assets, which have all these textures and certain items and models that are really grateful, that are really great for a asset design. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you around the unity editor so you have all these panes you have the scene view the game view the hierarchy the project view and the inspector now the inspector just shows you information on the certain files that you have in your project and so to navigate the scene view so let's say we have a main camera by default we can hit F to focus in on that in three-dimensional space hold alt and click and we can look around and rotate that object we can also scroll to move in and out and we can right click to look around and so to start that we are actually not going to need this main camera so we're just going to delete that and to start off we're going to go to terrain create terrain we're going to hit F to focus in on that and generally whenever you create a new object in your scene you're want going to send its position to X Y and Z and you're gonna to want to set those all at zero now you can move that around using these arrows so you can move all of your objects around like this or you can just change it to the grab icon move it around go up here change it to rotation and you can change the rotation of it and it won't change the rotation of a terrain but if you have any other object it will or you can stick scale it you can go to a scale tool and scale your objects so we're going to want to set these values back to 1, we're going to set these values back to 0, and these values back to 0. So we just have everything sorted out. And so to start off with the Terrain Toolkit, we're going to want to create, uh, cl sorry I can't talk to you guys, just bear with me. We're going to click the Terrain Toolkit, 
see this terrain toolkit C sharp we're gonna drag that right over our terrain game object in the hierarchy and the terrain toolkit just basically lets you generate certain um, types of terrain instead of using your default terrain script which is right here to paint and raise the terrain so as you can see you get a little bit of depth right there now I'm just gonna hit command Z to undo all of that because we're not gonna be using that so let's just go to the Perlin section on terrain creation we're gonna go to Rocky Mountains and generate and as you can see that generated a nice nicer looking terrain but it's pretty bumpy right so we're gonna wanna go to smooth and smooth terrain and smooth terrain and that's looking a bit better now to add a little bit more realism we're gonna wanna apply some erosion and my favorite type of erosion is a uh, wind erosion because it makes it add some more depth and some interesting realism to the terrain so we're gonna go to the erode tab in the terrain toolkit script we're gonna go to wind and you can set your preset to anywhere it just changes the direction that it's coming from so we could do uh, southerly I guess and you can see that arrow is pointing in the direction that it's gonna happen and we're gonna apply wind erosion okay guys so now we are done with our wind erosion so what we're gonna to want to do now is to texture the terrain so we're gonna to go to the texture tab and we're gonna to want to click add texture add texture and let's do that four different textures that should be pretty good so now we're gonna open up the terrain assets and click this uh, arrow and that will expand it and let's go to textures and for our cliff texture let's use this cliff layered rock that's one of my favorite textures I use it a lot and for texture number one let's do grass and rock for texture number two I don't know what you guys think how about some grass hill for texture number two and then for texture number three grass meadow and then right now we're gonna hit apply procedural texture and I mean that's starting to look pretty decent right there I mean it's not bad it textured our terrain and gave it a little bit of realism and depth so yeah it's not bad but what we're gonna probably want to do is adjust these settings a little bit as you can see there's not the cliff isn't very defined so let's adjust this texture slope so that it will start a little earlier and that the slope doesn't have to be as insane to get the cliff to begin forming so let's apply that now and that is way too much guys that is gonna look terrible in a game so let's just scale this up a little more and that's looking a little better maybe just maybe just a little more okay that's pretty good yeah that looks that looks fine and so now we're actually gonna adjust the texture height and so basically what this works is texture one will start right here texture two will start right here and texture three will begin right there and these are the middle points for texture two and so let's space this out a little more evenly and I think texture one should start it a little bit lower so now let's apply procedural texture and guys for me that looks a lot better so as you can see the dirt starts lower and as you get higher it will go into the grass hill texture and then up into the meadow texture the higher you get up and we might actually want to bring that meadow texture down a little more so that we can get more variation uh, yeah that looks that looks a little bit better and so guys now as you can see you have a fully textured terrain and it's starting to look pretty good I think in the next tutorial we might go over bump mapping and uh, resizing the texture so that it looks more realistic and looks a little bit less tiled as you can see here so that looks pretty unrealistic you can tell that it's a repeated texture and we're gonna work on fixing that a little bit okay guys and so until next time have a good one give me your comments down below please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel it goes a long way and have a good one you guys see ya